In this section of the unit, we're going to be talking about rational functions, and our ultimate goal is to be able to graph rational functions. So a rational function is a quotient of two polynomials. So it's when it looks like a fraction, and in the numerator you have a polynomial, and in the denominator you have a polynomial. So first let's talk about how to find the domain of a rational function. And we already saw this in unit one, but let's go ahead and just refresh our memories. So one of the rules is that we can't divide by zero. So to find the domain of, the, of a rational function, we're gonna find when is the denominator zero, and then the domain will be all real numbers except those values. Okay, so here we have f of x equals three over x. Well, we just can't have x be zero. So our domain would be everything except zero, which means we'd go negative infinity to zero, leave it out, and then union zero to infinity. Okay, and that really just means the same thing as all real numbers except zero. Okay, and you don't have to worry about the numerator, the top at all in these problems. Okay, so for number two, we have g of x equals five over x squared minus 16. Well, to find what we have to leave out, we wanna know, well, when is x squared minus 16 equal to zero? And x squared minus 16 factors as x minus four times x plus four. It's a difference of squares. So this is zero when x equals four or x equals negative four. So our domain is all real numbers except negative four or four. And if we wanna write that as an, an interval notation, that would be negative infinity up to negative four, not include negative four, union negative four to four, not including either of those, and then four to infinity. Okay, let's go ahead and look at our final one here. Number three, we have h of x equals x minus two over x squared minus two x minus three. Again, you don't need to look at that x minus two up top at all. We just wanna know when is x squared minus two x minus three, our denominator equal to zero. And that factors as x minus three times x plus one. So that would be zero when x equals three or x equals negative one. So our domain would be all real numbers except three or negative one. And if we write that in interval notation, we'd go negative infinity up to negative one, union negative one to three, union three to infinity. Okay, so to find the domain of a rational function, you just need to leave out any values that make the denominator zero.